Hi guys, this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how we can send WhatsApp messages using ESP8266 or Node MCO. So let's get started. So let me tell you how this whole system works. So first of all, uh, the Node MCO will send a uh, request to Call Me Bot API. Okay. API and after that we will get our messages okay so this is how it gonna work so uh, now we, I, uh, we will see how we can uh, set up this call me bot API and how we can get that API key so for setting up the call me bot first of all you have to save a contact number in your phone okay which is plus 34 644 44 and 2148 okay this is the number that you need to save it on your phone okay and in your mobile contacts and after that you have to name it whatever you want okay uh, in my case i will name it as whatsapp bot okay whatsapp bot okay so after naming it you have to send a message okay which is i allow call me bot call me bot to send me messages and after that uh, within two to three minutes you will get your api key okay and uh, if you wanted to stop it you can simply uh, write it as uh, you can simply send a message to stop it will stop that service uh, and if you want to resume it once again so you have to write resume okay that's it now after setting this okay we will see how the code part works and uh, one more thing that i wanted to tell you that i will tell you in the code part only so let's switch to our desktop screen so so yeah here we have our code part so let's start uh, here you will find this this four lines so basically this line include the necessary libraries for the code to work the esp8266 wi-fi library provides the function for connecting uh, to a Wi-Fi network ESP8266 HTTP client uh, allows making HTTP requests and Wi-Fi client provides the functionality for handling Wi-Fi connection and uh, URL encode is used for URL encoding after that we have this part which is constant character SSID and password so this line basically defines the Wi-Fi network credentials okay so you have to add your SSID and the password then we have a string phone number and a string API key. So this line defines the uh, phone number and API key. The phone number variable uh, stores the recipient's uh, phone number in international format. Okay. Suppose if your number is uh, 986 dot dot dot. So uh, you have to add plus 91 your international code. Okay. It can be anything. Uh, plus 91 is for India. Okay. Uh, after that uh, and yeah you have to mention that api key which will which you will get from uh, call me bot after that uh, you have void send message basically this uh, declares the function which takes a string parameter messages this function will be used to send whatsapp message with the provided message content then we have a string url okay this line construct the URL for sending the WhatsApp message. It, it concatenates the base URL uh, with the phone number, uh, API key, and encoded message. Okay. Then we have uh, Wi-Fi client, HTTP client, and HTTP dot begin. HTTP dot begin. So let's talk about uh, this. These uh, lines create instance of uh, Wi-Fi client and HTTP client classes. The client object is used for the HTTP connection while the HTTP uh, object is 
responsible for handling the HTTP request. The begin method is called to initialize the HTTP object with the provided client and URL. Okay, then after that we have HTTP dot add header. Okay, this line uh, adds a header to the HTTP request specifying the content uh, type as application slash x hyphen www hyphen form hyphen URL encoded. Okay, this uh, header informs the server about the format of the data being sent. After that we have int HTTP response code. Okay, so this line sends the HTTP post request. The, to the server using the post method of the HTTP object, it re uh, returns the HTTP response code, which is stored in HTTP response code. Okay. Uh, after that, we have this if part. Okay, as you can see. So basically, this line checks the value of uh, HTTP response code uh, to determine the success or the failure of the message sending. Okay, if the code is uh, 200, the message is considered sent successfully and success message is printed on the serial monitor. Otherwise, an error message along with the actual HTTP response code is displayed. After that, we have HTTP dot end in the last as you can see. So basically, this line uh, releases the resources used by the uh, HTTP object terminating the HTTP connections. And after that, uh, yeah, we have the void setup. We have in which we have uh, set up the serial monitors and all the things and over here we have send message part where uh, you can like uh, add your message in my case uh, uh, written hello from uh, ESP8266 you can add anything even I can write give a uh, Rohan so give a Rohan means how are you Rohan basically yeah so yeah this is the whole part i hope uh, it works for you so yeah let's switch our screen back so yeah here is my phone and here we have our node mcu so i have written that message uh, i allow uh, call me bot to send me a message uh, actually i received that message i have deleted for privacy purposes okay now I am gonna reset my uh, node MCU board so that we can receive that message. So let me click on this. As you can see, it blinked. It just blinked and just wait. It takes few seconds to send a message. As you can see, it is written Kiveya Rohan. Actually, I said it to Kiveya Rohan. So that's why it is written this. So yeah, it works. So yeah, I want to tell you one more thing which is very important that it's gonna work with only those number uh, like in which you have like uh, set up the call in a uh, call me bot okay uh, if you try to add another number in which call me bot is not set up then it will show you a error so if you wanted to like link two or three more numbers then you have to do some changes in the code and before that you have to set up call me bot in every mobile number in that you wanted to add to your program program okay so yeah that's all i wanted to tell you and uh, i hope you love this project so don't forget to like share and subscribe or yeah subscribe kar do 500 subscribers se kuch hi dur hai to bas bhai kar do chalo fir tata milte hain aur naye video se bye bye